He's cool. Uh, yeah. So this is Victor versus Jeff Chan. And so Jeff Chan's actually showing us what Victor's doing, which is pretty cool. Victor is... He has MMA training, Muay Thai, et cetera, but he also has Baji Chan, and he's trying to do Baji Chan, the Kung Fu system here against Jeff Chan. Now, I'm here with Wyatt. This is Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Um, Jeff Chan, of course, very popular MMA guy from YouTube. That was nice. Yeah, well, overhand. Into the leg kick. Into the leg kick. He's so good at leg kicks. He has that double-step leg kick, and the way he uses his punches to set up these weird angles to finish with a leg kick, it's so dope. Mm, yeah. I really love Jeff's style. Yeah. And it's crazy because Jeff looks pretty Boy. big, right? But Victor's so much bigger than him. It's crazy. Victor's a big guy. I don't want to mess with Victor. Oh, well. <laughs> so Victor, as you guys know, is the guy who founded the King of Dragons League that we cover from Taiwan. So so look at that. Jeff parried. Parry into the hook. Yeah. And then that double step wow. low kick is That's so beautiful. Great combo. So Victor definitely kind of holding his hands more like a Baji Chen person, it looks like. That's tight. Coming in with the chain punches at center line kung fu style. Yeah, exactly. Wow, actually drove him back. Yeah. Wow. If you mix it in with your MMA, you know how to kickbox and you know how to fight. We were talking about this earlier. You can make your kung fu and your traditional martial arts work. Yeah. You just can't only have that with no actual combat sports yeah. knowledge. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah. You mix your boxing or jiu-jitsu and then you add that stuff, you can make it work. Yeah, exactly. Oh, another oh, great uh, same side combo. That leg kick, yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, the different angles at the chain punch. Yeah. They're fast, too. Yep. So he took a jab, or it's a cross. Right. But then, then look right at that. There. He came back. Yeah. One, two. And then two. right there again, the he little He did one. one. It was like an uppercut one, or a There's hook another one. one. And then that was an uppercut one. That's a little flurry right there. Yeah. Look at that. He does that shovel kick, but to the lower leg. Yeah, those chain punches are effective because they do come crashing down the center line, mm -hmm. and you don't rotate the fist over mm -hmm. so sometimes they could split right in between the guard if yeah. you don't rotate the fist yeah back with that leg kick yeah i will say a small reason why victor's making this work is because he's much bigger yeah but, he's tall yeah so he if you're jeff's arm. size or smaller than jeff it might be a little hard to make some of this kung fu work but again i'm not saying it's impossible and part of what we want to do on this channel is to show these alternative styles because, you know, we don't just want the standard MMA. Like, if everyone's looking like just your standard MMA, I think the martial arts isn't evolving. True. It's true. So, because and if you look at it from a self-defense standpoint, too, you mix in this stuff. Those uh, could be ending with chain punches and then, you know, a spear hand to the eye or to the throat or something. You could mix those things in yes. if you know how to fight. Yes. You yeah. can't, you know, people say those techniques don't work. They do if you know what you're doing and yeah. you throw a double jab spear hand into their eyeball and yeah. you're accurate. Instead of a double jab cross, you just poke their f***ing eye out. Yeah, like. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, that was ouch. a nice little one. All right, so, yeah, um, this is an example. Of don't rush in face first, right? That's the problem. That's something Jeff's also really good at doing is splitting. So mm -hmm. when one person throws a strike, he'll uh, slip his head off and throw at the mm -hmm. same time mm -hmm. and split and then end with that uh, leg kick. Yeah. Super good with counters with his head movement. Yep. So practice your head movement, guys. Yeah, right there, the chain flurry. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the thing is those punches are fast, but uh, if you just go left, right, left, right, left, right, you could just put your guard up and block them. Yeah, up. yeah, exactly. Ooh, Ooh good wait. hook. So he parried the left hand down with his right hand and then boom a hook right there Good. oof and then end of that oh leg kick. with a kick i didn't even yeah. see it's always that's his bread and butter like mm -hmm. he ends his combos boom boom leg kick just leg kick, yeah. smash that leg gets you really uh focused on the hands and mm -hmm. then you know you're heavy on the legs so that leg kick's gonna hurt i see i think victor slightly blocked that with his elbow a little bit he let it roll off a little bit oh that kick what I think would be cool for the Kung Fu guy to do is use the chain punches, like one, two, three, four, and then a hook. A hook, yes. Yeah, so that he gets that guard up thinking he's going to block the straights, and then the hook will loop around yeah. the back of the ear. Or this one, he changed his levels, right? That's yeah, good. That's, See, because yeah. Jeff was covering up. She's so like, okay, yep. perfect time for me to yep. take you down. So or that too. That you, using the chain punches to set up something As else. As a setup, yeah, exactly. exactly. Set up a hook, set up a takedown, set up a kick. Yeah. Set up a different angle of attack. Yes, yes. Wow, that was awesome, awesome that was dude. Really cool. Dude, Jeff Chan, thank you so much. And Victor, too. Shout out, Victor. Thank you so much for this. Something to emphasize again, like what why I said, you have to have the foundations. A lot of it comes from sparring. A lot of it comes from learning the basic stuff that's proven to work, the boxing, the kickboxing, the Muay Thai. 
But once you do that, of course, there's a lot of room to add in stuff based on your body type, your personality, your mm -hmm. game plan. All of that. Yeah. And this is what Victor's trying to do here. So. Yeah. And in the end of the day, martial arts, I mean, I know we're obviously training for functionality. We want things to work, but it's also good to be creative and think outside the box. Yes. Not everything's always going to work, but part of martial arts is to try new things to see what does work. Yes. We don't want to stay stuck with the same techniques. Just this is what works. This is what doesn't. I'm staying with this. Let's try to expand our horizon and, you know, experiment. Have fun with it. Yeah. If you remember the other week, someone knocks someone out while being mounted. A punch oh, from the yeah. bottom of the So, like, in they're the, like, never the can happen. It happened. It happened. Yeah. Right? That's a perfect example. Something we thought was dogma yeah. ended up not being true. Yep. Or, like, you know, everyone says... You can't stop a takedown with a knee or something. And there's a lot of people there's who've been jump need with by takedowns. It, just because it doesn't happen every time doesn't mean it may not work and yeah. it's not a technique you can practice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's always good to, to work on everything. Don't get limited in your mindset of this is what works and this is what doesn't. There's more than just this and this. It's yeah. not black and white. It's yeah. fighting. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this is Jared Wyatt. Jared from Fight Commentary Breakdowns and Wyatt from Cardone Boxing. By the way, guys, you guys have yeah. to follow him. He's going to... Put a lot of stuff up, and of course, Wyatt's always going to come back on my channel, but give Wyatt some support. Thank you, everybody. Okay.